Although businessmen still predominate among air travelers, the new services for pleasure travelers are causing a new look on the airline. The airline business is a very young and growing industry. Most of the airlines that we know today were formed between the years of 1926 and 1930. And it was in 1933 that our company hired its first four stewardesses. My first flight was from Memphis to Fort Worth. And I heard these tall girls to reach the old head racks and other storage compartments on the airplane. Our company is interested in all types of girls, as long as they live up to the high standards that we have for giving fine passenger service, which we've always been noted for. They're more glamorous than they've ever been, and this has been on a planned basis. Because, oh, 10 years ago, for instance, we sort of had the clean, washed, fresh, all-American look, and this is what we wanted. We didn't allow eye makeup or uh, false eyelashes or long hair. And now, because fashion has taken that trend, and believe me, our styling experts are right on the job and, and staying ahead of fashion, uh, such as our new wardrobe, is really ahead of fashion, so that we do stay ahead, and will stay ahead. She gets the course in psychology of how to handle people in all kinds of situations. I really believe it's the spirit of broadening her own horizons and the spirit of adventure that makes the girl one of the sturdy. She also gets to know this wonderful country. The following graduation, the girls go to any one of the nine stewardess bases that we have. In addition, they have the opportunity to transfer to other cities. It's simple for her to do, since she has a job when she gets to that city, transportation is provided, and she has friends that she can live with, other stewardesses. This enables her not only to know the cities in which she lives, but those cities into which she flies. Well, this I'm very happy about. I have a son I had hoped to go to Air Force Academy. He was unable to go, so at least I have one in the family who has wings. Very pleased about it. So then I was able to go off on my own, and I've been to Japan, China, Portugal, Spain, Vienna, Germany, Italy, loved Italy, London, Paris, and this next year I have a month vacation. And my husband and I plan on taking a trip around the world. You know, every man should marry an airline stewardess. We have so much to offer. <laughs>